I'm sure you've seen a screen like this before and you're wondering, how does OneNote sync its content? We all use OneNote class notebooks, but it's important to understand how syncing occurs so that you know when you send information through your sections and pages to students, you know that it's going to get there. So what I've done at the moment is I've opened for the very first time a OneNote class notebook in OneNote 2016. In this video we'll look at the two different ways that OneNote 2016 syncs information and how the Windows 10 OneNote app syncs information. At the moment I'm still waiting for this class notebook to load. So while this is happening I'm going to go into the file and new options for creating a notebook using the 2016 OneNote app. Now here is a key difference and it's really important that you understand this. When we are creating notebooks in the 2016 application, you actually have the option to create a new notebook on your own device. Now this means that it won't be synced to any cloud storage. So what I could decide to do is simply make a notebook on this PC and I would give it a name and I would be saving it just to this local computer. That means that this notebook is only accessible on this device. However, OneNote 2016 also allows us to sign in with our Office 365 account and to sync notebooks and class notebooks to your organization's OneDrive. And that's how we use notebooks and class notebooks most of the time with this application. So let's go back. At the moment you can see that this has now started syncing. Our class notebook pages and sections and section groups are starting to come through and I can start to see all of the students sections appearing as well. Now you'll notice that we have in this view a little icon of a green rotating circle and that means that this notebook is still syncing. If we right click we can click this button notebook sync status and we can see what's happening. This is the notebook here and at the moment we can see that it was last synced at 10.25 a.m. today and it's waiting for another update. If I hit this button sync now it's going to force through any changes to any of the pages and sections. And so what this is doing in OneNote 2016 is it's keeping a local copy of this notebook on my own PC and it's constantly comparing and making changes against the cloud version. I'll close this window. So as students create pages and as they change page content, my OneNote 2016 app is looking for differences and it's pulling them down from the cloud. If I was then to make a change and say type here, good work, then pretty soon we'll start to see the sync icon appear here and it's going to take this change and push it to the cloud and then it's going to transfer this change to this student's notebook. And so when you're working with OneNote 2016, it's always working between the local copy and the cloud copy. The benefit of this is that you have the ability to work without an internet connection. If our Wi-Fi was to drop off, we can still change pages and go in and out of any of these sections and, and so forth, and we can continue working. A very quick recap. To sync in OneNote 2016, you need to have the app open, obviously, and you right click on the notebook and you can sync it now using this shortcut or you can go in and check on the status of the syncing by using that second link. Anyway, let's jump out of this one and let's now compare this to the newer Windows 10 application. So now I'm in the same student section of the same class notebook but I'm using the OneNote Windows 10 app. This is the one that's pre-installed with Windows 10. You can see over here that we have a page sync status. Now this doesn't appear in the 2016 app. 
So if I click on this, you can see page saved, last synced just now. When I right click on this, there's no option. It's simply an alert that tells us how recently that page has changed and if the page is up to date. If we right click on the notebook, you can see once again we have our sync options. When I click on that, we can sync the notebook, this one in particular, or all notebooks. And so it's a much simpler syncing process here. When I go sync this notebook, you can now see that we have a slightly different icon, but the same process is running. You can now see that my text, good work, has turned up in this page. So that's a slightly different process. We've actually got icons that sit on each page in the Windows 10 version, but we can right click on the name of the notebook, sync, and sync the notebook this way by forcing any changes more quickly onto our device. Now I mentioned before that the file menu was quite a key difference when we go from 2016 to Windows 10. Over here we have the file menu and we've got the option to create new notebooks in lots of different areas, cloud and local options being offered. If I go over to the Windows 10 app, there is no file menu. And the reason why is because all of that information is stored instead in this sidebar that we can see to the left. If I was to add a notebook here, this is how we create a new notebook. And you'll notice that there's no option to save it locally. That's because the Windows 10 notebook app doesn't let you create notebooks on your local computer. You can only save them to the cloud. And therefore, you are always syncing your work. So that's a key difference and we'll explore them more as we go forward. But for now, this video is simply about the syncing processes.